Hi, I'm Steve McAvoy. I went to the Acura dealer. I uh, drove up with my girlfriend. The salesman came out within 15 seconds. He didn't shake my hand, he didn't ask my name, he didn't introduce himself. He comes out and he goes, hello, can I help you? And I looked at him and I said, well, no, can you? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I said, you know, I'm driving by and I saw that, we're, that BMW over there, I just wanted to check it out. So we go over, me and the rubber walk around the car looking at it. He's standing off to the side, not paying us a bit of attention. And I walk back and he goes, are you interested in, in the used car then? I said, it's possible. That's why I got a couple over there and I got some over there. So I said, okay. So my girlfriend went that way, I went that way, and he stood there just scratching his head, didn't know which way to go. Clearly he's not in control of the sale process from the very get-go because of right. the not properly greeting the right. both of you. So he didn't know where to go. So right. then my girlfriend came walking over, then he followed her. And I was just Naturally. looking at some cars, and he goes, oh, we have 0.9% financing. I wow. said, that's nice. I said, how much is the down payment? He goes, well, he goes, I, I'm, he goes I'm leaving at 8 o'clock tonight, so I really don't have any time. Wow. He goes, I'll be back on Tuesday. Wow. Come back then. Right. So I sell a product called Fuelon. So by the time I left there, I made twenty dollars off. <laughs> <laughs> so you sold him something. Yeah. So let's stop right there. And let's recap here. Okay. He he never got your name. Never got my name. You never got his name. I never got his. And name. this was an accurate dealership. Yeah, I had asked him for his business. So product. so it's a pretty high end dealership selling right, pretty exactly. high end I, product. I, I think he thinks that the cars sell themselves. That right. People come in there and they say, "Well, give me that one." And he doesn't need to, to know your name to ask you to spend no. fifty sixty thousand dollars. No, you didn't need to. Keep, yeah, I don't know. and not not only that, but he didn't even give me the time of day. Not only did he op give you control of the sales process to lead to lot walking and price objections, but he initiated a conversation about price, so he, he automatically put himself in, in harm's way that way. Now, what would you, based upon your training so far, what would you have done differently? Well, I would have came out. I would introduce myself. I would have shook both the hands. I would have got both the names. I would welcome to the dealership that I was at. Mm -hmm. I was going to you know, ask them if they're here to see anybody you know, in particular. Exactly. And then I will lead them through the sales process. Right. And where should that sales process take place? Um, inside in the office. Right. Because that's a controlled atmosphere as opposed to the lot where exactly what happened was right. you your went to the left. Your mind's wandering. Your girlfriend went to the right. He's scratching his head, not knowing what to do because he's lost total control. Right. And this guy works at a high-end dealership. Well, that was my game plan. Yeah. But at least you made 20 bucks. All right, well, good for your round of applause for Steve.